Hey friends, today I get the opportunity to take you inside this 15 bedroom, 13 bathroom, completely themed home all about games. And not just board games, I mean every type of game. They literally have carnival games, video games, board games, it's unbelievable. Each room is completely themed to some of our favorite classics like Monopoly to Pac-Man, a Pac-Man bedroom, also laser tag bedroom. It's unbelievable and remarkable. I just can't wait to show you. You're not gonna wanna miss it. Let's go do this. It's located only about 30 to 40 minutes from all of the attractions in Central Florida. And this place is actually for rent. You can come stay here with your family, do a reunion. It sleeps up to 54 people. And it's just one of those places, once you get inside, you're not gonna wanna leave. Another amazing fact is it's completely isolated. You are surrounded by nothing but Florida nature, and I love that. It's such a nifty little retreat. And as soon as we walk through the door, oh man, we have a lot to go over. This place is phenomenal, and there's so much to cover. I can't wait to show you all of it. We're gonna go to the left first. As you can see, they have a cinema that is basically Jumanji, well, Jumanji 2.0, and that's because it is a movie theater that's playing a movie about a board game. So it kind of coexists there perfectly. And then as you walk down the hallway, they have movie theater posters, but all of them have the word game in it or have to do with game, which is an amazing detail. The first room I'm gonna show you guys has to be the Monopoly room. I love Monopoly and it's probably one of the world's most famous board games out there. Whoa, what an unbelievable bedroom. Look at this. And it actually has two Monopoly piece beds. This is amazing. And they have a jail. So if you get the go to jail card, you have to go in the closet. Unbelievable. Another really cool, interesting thing is it has its own bathroom. Waterworks. This is amazing. Really cool that they have little floor mats that are chance and community chess cards. Honestly, can you imagine staying here? You know how you always kind of fight over the Monopoly pieces? Can you imagine fighting over the bed Monopoly pieces? No, no, I want the car. That's awesome. And then right across the hall, we have the Scrabble bedroom. And take a look at this flooring. It actually tells the actual location of this home. And it's called the Great Escape Parkside. But look at it in here. I love it. It's just such amazing themed. Look at the bed. The walls are unbelievable. Did you know Scrabble was invented in 1938? Unbelievable. They even have little tiny games that you can play. So if you can figure out the Scrabble here in the room, you get $50 off your next day. It also has its own bathroom and take a look at the floor in here. It is a gigantic board game. Unbelievable. Play till you're pooped. Classy, that's a good one. Oh, and then over here, you can actually play in the bathroom. On each rack of seven small tiles is a scrambled bathroom related ward the answer key is inside the cabinet, so you can actually try to decipher those. I'm not going to tell you any answers, though. The door is even perfectly decorated and painted. And then right down the hall, the next set of rooms is such an amazing accomplishment. I'll even give you a little clue if you can guess what it is. Oh, wow. This is amazing. I can't even believe it. We've only just begun here, guys. And this is not just a clue bedroom. This is so much more. 
this is actually a bedroom and escape room an actual escape room in your bedroom they have two escape rooms in this home and this one is all clue based this is more of a traditional escape room and i love it all of the locked drawers and everything like that you actually play like a, a a real escape room they give you little tablets and the goal is to find all the cards that belong on the clue boarding game except for the last three so the last three obviously is going to be who is the killer where and what did they use another thing to point out the escape room isn't just in this room it actually carries over to another clue bedroom that is separated by a clue bathroom it is all one escape room everything is just so detailed the pictures the walls it's just literally this house is literally art unbelievable I love how it says the clueless bathroom or is it <laughs> so I'm gonna probably say lots of clues in here to help escape and then here is the second room I like this room a lot this one is probably my favorite so far look at all of the artwork look at that the bed is fantastic this is such a neat idea to put an escape room in a bedroom themed clue who would have knew there are so many clues on everything in here like nothing is what you think it is i don't want to like show you guys things because it'll kind of ruin it if you ever stay here but literally everything is not what it seems to be just saying they even give you this washboard right here to keep track but this is such a fun mystery to solve we have only showed three rooms so far and i am like totally impressed you guys have to let me know what is your favorite room where would you stay like where would you be like i call the clue room let me know in the comments which one you will pick now we're actually going to move on to the movie theater and take a look see into the Jumanji 2.0 theater now they have another home and it's the Jumanji original one but this is the sequel so it's all about the sequel of Jumanji of course play tribute to the man himself Robin Williams right there and check this out a whole concession stand and then it basically tells you the story and gives you a little role playing here so you kind of transfer into an avatar like in the sequel to Jumanji and enjoy a movie look at this oh wow this is amazing I can spend hours in here I don't know if you can tell but these are like leaves it's like you're in the in the forest this is great i put my hand on kevin hart look at the face he made and of course they have jumanji playing for you but it comes stocked with movies xbox everything this is a really awesome movie theater i need to test out the movie theater seats oh and they're good they're the good ones i like it <laughs> I'm pretty sure the popcorn machine works as well because what's a movie theater without popcorn? Oh, and look, they're actually playing the original Jumanji right there. Be kind, please rewind. Right next to the theater, we've got the High Rollers room. This is all about table games, slot games, Las Vegas. This is definitely one of the adult rooms. But take a look at the detail in here comes fully ready with your own slot machines some big dice and even a fireplace it actually smells like a casino in here too i don't know if that's on purpose but i'm impressed i'm impressed 
it also has its own bathroom which is called the royal flush bathroom and take a look at this i love the coloring and i love the floors look at the tile they have cards actually inside the tile and some more movie posters like i said everything has to do with games rounders nothing now we're gonna focus on the main living room area and this has a whole bunch of games that actually tie into the whole home including one of the oldest games the game of telephone and right here in the corner as soon as you walk in they have a little telephone in each room they have another telephone so when you pick it up you have to say something and then when that somebody else picks up the other side they add something to the message and it goes on and on and on and each phone is themed accordingly to the rooms they also have a gigantic scrabble board right here and then a minkali very fancy a huge chess set right in the middle of the living room and then a little tribute to Chinese games right here and this is a bathroom but the detail in here is so remarkable look at how cool this is oh I really like it also another really awesome detail is in each room they have a spot the difference set so you can literally stop and try to find the difference between the pictures in every single room and it's all themed by that room the dining room is all fully themed including little game centers right in the middle of the table and then the kitchen has probably my favorite little easter egg and right up there it says don't feel like cooking call dominoes but look at what's going all the way around the kitchen actual dominoes <laughs> the kitchen's fully loaded it comes with two fridges dishwashers of course your coffee maker stove microwave really really awesome as I said before, each room has a spot the difference section, but this is the spot the difference hallway, and it's actually broken up by difficulty. So level two intermediate, and then level one for the beginners, and then definitely the experts. Right on the end of the spot the difference hallway, they have the TV show game room. Look at this deal or no deal oh, who wants to be a millionaire Regis Philbin hey how are you <laughs> this is really cool I love the flooring in here too wow the bed that is amazing like I said it's so hard to choose a favorite but I can tell you this has one of my favorite bathrooms the bathroom itself comes with a huge jacuzzi tub and then a fancy mirror but what makes it great for me it's not the money cases it's the hot seat because this is actually one of those toilets that warms the toilet for you and uh kind of makes sense you're in a game show you're in the hot seat you're in a bathroom you're on a hot seat and if you recall me telling you about the phone game and how each one is themed of course we're gonna have phone a friend right here in the bathroom so if I were to pick up that phone in the living room and it would come you would have to find out where it went to next and if you pick it up and you hear something then you have to add something to this one and it goes to another room that's awesome if you recall, I told you that there was two escape rooms and what better board game to host an escape room than Risk. That is awesome. Oh, and they have all the Risk games up there. This is a actual escape room just like the Clue one I showed you, but 
it's a competition one because you're actually playing against the person in that room to see who can escape first. And like I said before, the other one, they give you little templates and they actually give you clues and everything like that. But this one keeps track who's going to escape first. It's separated by the battleship bathroom. That is cool. It's like a submarine in here or a battleship. Oh, this is nifty. Like I said, it is a battle. So you have risk on one side, separated by battleship. What could be the other room? Stratego. Perfect for a good competition. Risk and Stratego. That is awesome here's the tablet for this side this one's full of bunk beds everything's different this brings back a lot of old memories Ooh, and remember in tradition the phone game <laughs> that's awesome complete theming right there now we're gonna make our way upstairs i wanted to point this out though this is the world's largest printed maze right here can you believe that? You actually start on this corner right here and have to try to get through the maze itself all the way to the other side. If you're good at mazes, I'd like to see you accomplish this. Comes with little dry macers so you can actually go right around it. And before we actually make our way upstairs, there's one more room down here I wanna show you and it's kinda a dungeon door. So we're gonna take a peek see in here. Look at this little place. A dungeon and dragons meets Minecraft. Holy moly. I would not expect this to be in here. Oh man, my nephew would love this. We got a little bed here. This is an awesome little room right here. Now we're gonna make our way upstairs and this is all classic carnival games. And check out all the nifty carnival posters. These are customly made for the Great Escape Park side. Look at this. It ain't over till the fat lady sings. This is really cool. And of course, it's not complete without the mirrors. <laughs> what you're about to see probably will blow your mind right up these steps it gets full-on games here wow it's a whole arcade <gasps> yes yes et tout est mort s'il vous plaît oui oui if my words share it's better to keep your mouth shut. And That's amazing. I absolutely love those machines. This whole upper area is, and there's actually one, two, three, four, five, six, six more bedrooms up here. This one right here is a real work of art. Can you guess what kind of theming is happening here? A little operation? Look at this, this is a bedroom. This is amazing. Ooh, Operation 2.0, back in surgery, and it's actually the back. How cool is that? Because this is the second room. They have another property with Operation 1, but I've never seen an operation of the back. It's kind of cool. Carrying on the tradition also, remember the phone game, this room has the emergency phone in it and then all of the awesome bunk beds. This is just really awesome and put together. I love the tile flooring. It's got its own bathroom with some of the famous TV doctors, Dr. Doug Ross. Wow. Operation sterilization room. <laughs> the ankle bones connected to the leg bones. This is an amazing bathroom. I really like this one. 
I hope you guys are keeping tabs of what your favorite room is because I'm gonna have to like sit down and think about it afterwards because this is uh, 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 no words we got to move on though we got a lot to cover here around the bend and we're gonna be coming into <gasps> Pac-Man what Mrs. Pac-Man oh wow look at this okay I'm done for guys this is it this is it this is my favorite room holy moly <gasps> they got Pac-Man right there ready to go look at this bed unbelievable I call Miss Pac-Man room yep there you go I called it it's mine I'm staying in this one and check out the bathroom this is amazing <laughs> all of the detail this is definitely my favorite absolutely Inside the closet, they have Pac-Man towels. Look at all of the Pac-Man family actually playing games. Frogger and Donkey Kong. That is a little cool art. The fan has the ghost on it. Can you imagine what that looks like when it spins around and round? And then right outside my favorite room, you have a little karaoke stage. Look at that. With the monitor and all. And all hooked up with microphones, tarot card reading, air hockey. This place is awesome. The next room is all about games gone wild. The kids are going to love this one. Look at all those Legos. It looks like the games have taken over this room. These little guys have. And they just decided to start destroying it. Oh, wow. It's like a mixture of all your favorite life apples to apples uno i love it in here all these bunk beds this is a kid's dream room i think it would be my dream room look at the closet ego my ego <laughs> oh check out the bathroom tile wow this is an amazing like lego game gone wild like i'm blown away actually what remember to bring a brick of soap Colonel Mustard is lying Operation Sam messed it up this is great I want to show you all of them but right behind the door like I said you got spot the difference every single room has one when we were walking up the staircase I said it was all about carnival games and they actually have some old school carnival games here like ring toss and tic-tac-toe and <laughs> stand a bottle oh oh I see what you had to do here you have to try to hook this little ring and stand the bottle up we're gonna be here for a while if I do this oh wait can oh, wait what nope but of course, you can't just have the classics. You gotta have something new age. And you know the kids, they love their video games. So of course there has to be a video game room. Look at this. I love the video game walls. That's a really cool idea. And then of course right here, little Xbox. Oh wow. Each one of the bunk beds have a TV and a console hooked up to it. So like everybody can just literally play their own game. That is a really cool nifty idea. I like the color green in here as well. Hundreds of games to choose from. You've got PlayStation 4s, Xbox, Wii's, all of the cool stuff right here. The bathroom itself actually has a switch right there for you to play <laughs> while you're doing your business oh and the shower is the spray station that is all really nifty in here i really like all of it we're gonna skip on over and we're gonna skip this room because i want to save that for last and we're gonna hop to the twister room this room is really really cool because it is a literal twister board look at this 
Huh. And if you look at the ceiling, the fan is the spinner. You literally take the handle and spin to see where you put your feet or where you put your hand. That is awesome. The bed comes down and actually lays down because you have to be able to put it up and down if you're gonna play a full out game of Twister in here. And then of course, the bathroom is all Twister. Everything. This is so much theming. And it's not just inside. Outside, they have a whole bunch of amazing activities. Right outside the Twister window, you can see they have human bowling, gigantic bowling pins, and then you get in that sphere and actually run down and knock them over. <laughs> One more room to go. I've seen them all, and I'm still sticking with Mrs. Pac-Man. That is my favorite room. I mean, it's just got a lot to do with my childhood. Right outside, they have a balcony with a little ski ball too. And then we get a look at all of the cool things outside and check this out. This is a pool table pool with a lazy river going around it. How awesome. Down there, they have a jacuzzi and it's the chalk for the pool table. Comes with the water slide, human whack-a-mole, human darts, and actually, they have their own human board game on the other side there that they actually created in-house here. Unbelievable. I would love, I, I actually want to take a dip in there. I should have brought my bathing suit. Last room, and it's gonna get a little crazy because it's a laser tag room. These are real lasers here. Look at that. So you have to touch here and then try to make your way to the other touch point without touching the lasers. That is so awesome, isn't it? Holy moly. Oh, we're on the clock. Well, thank God I didn't set it or else I'd probably already fail. This is so amazing. Holy moly. <laughs> Not only is it a laser room but it's also a laser tag because you have laser tag guns up there and we're gonna flip the lights on probably got a little bright with your own bed so you can literally sleep in here with all of these lights i don't know who would do that but i like it a lot <laughs> well that's gonna do it i hope you guys enjoyed this video i enjoyed making it Make sure to let me know what your favorite room was and if you want to inquire about this place and I'll also put the website in the description and you can check out all their other nifty properties. So, we'll see you next time. Bye!